Hello everyone and welcome to another video. The Sonic Screwdriver has been a part of the show ever since it first appeared in 1968's Fury from the Deep. It's been used by several incarnations of the Doctor from the 2nd all the way to the 15th, but there was a time when the Doctor wasn't able to use the Sonic. After it was destroyed by a Terraleptor in 1982's The Visitation, the Doctor wouldn't use it again until the TV movie in 1996. This meant that the 5th, 6th and 7th Doctors wouldn't use it in the meantime. But what if things had gone differently? What if, in an alternate timeline, the Sonic Screwdriver had come back a lot sooner? What if the 6th Doctor had a Sonic Screwdriver? <laughs> Now I have just explained the in-universe reason why the 6th Doctor didn't have a sonic screwdriver, but the behind the scenes reason was because then producer John Nathan Turner felt like the device was being used too much as a way of getting the Doctor out of a situation. So obviously in order for the device to come back in 60s era, JNT would have to change his thoughts on the matter. Maybe he'd realise that it would make sense for the Doctor to have a device that can help him out of some situations after all. This might sound a bit implausible, but it's worth remembering that he seems to be okay with Six having a similar device in Attack of the Cybermen, that being the Sonic Lance of course. So perhaps instead of introducing a similar device, JNT and script editor Eric Saywood decide to just bring the Sonic Screwdriver back for that story. But to take JNT's concerns about the device being overly used into account, it's only used every now and then, when the writers don't feel like there's any other solution to a particular problem they put the Doctor in. So Sixie wouldn't use it all the time. He'd probably mainly use it in place of the Sonic Lance during the many times he used that device in Attack of the Cybermen in our timeline. It could also make one-off appearances in other stories, like Vengeance on Varos and Terror of the Vervoids. In terms of the design, I think this fan-made one by MT Studios would be perfect. I actually wanted to use it for my What If the 1985 Hiatus Never Happened video, but because I didn't hear anything back from them when I emailed to ask if I could use it, I didn't want to use it without their permission, so I didn't end up using it for that video. But now that they have given me permission to use it, I thought I'd make this shorter video and use it here instead. So thank you very much to MT Studios for letting me use your design for a sixth Doctor Sonic. I can imagine that maybe the Seventh Doctor could inherit Six's Sonic and occasionally use it himself. Although maybe it would be redesigned a little to better reflect his tastes and personality. But he would eventually switch to the one we see in a TV movie. And from there, the order of the Sonics would continue exactly like it did in our timeline. And before we wrap things up, yes, I am aware that the Sixth Doctor did technically have a sonic screwdriver in expanded media. He had one in the Target novelization of the Unmade Nightmare Fair story, as well as one in the audio adaptation of the Ultimate Adventure stage play. But the whole point of this video was that he has one during his era on TV. But anyway, so there's my quick take on what if the Sixth Doctor had a sonic screwdriver. I know it's pretty unlikely to have ever happened on TV, but I thought it made for a cool little idea anyway. I just wanted to do this as a bit of fun, as well as to finally use that great design by MT Studios in a video. Anyway, so thanks for watching, I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it, and I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye bye